Hey everyone, it's Mike with Confused IT. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video here just talking about um, how to use disk management a little bit to delete some volumes uh, and some, uh, I guess, format some partitions here. So I have a flash drive uh, that I just plugged in that has some different uh, volumes on it. Um, and so a lot of guides or a lot of, uh, you know, articles out there that kind of just talk about how you can right click and format uh, a flash drive um, and it will, of course, wipe the data off that drive, uh, off that partition specifically. So, so here's an example, right, where I have my OS disk, I have, and then I have one flash drive. Right? So I have two partitions here that are both in the same flash drive, uh, and I formatted one, and obviously I, it didn't merge the space together or anything like that, so I still have two partitions. So um, what I want to cover here is just, you know, how do I get rid of those two partitions how do I reclaim all the space in that uh, that USB uh, flash drive? So um, I'm going to go ahead and open up Disk Management. Uh, this is a tool that exists on Windows Server. It's been in, in Windows for a long time. Um, and so basically it'll show you all of the disks that are attached to the machine. Uh, it'll also show you their partitions and their volumes and uh, you know what's on the disk, even, even hidden ones. Like for example, here is one where there's you know almost half a gig that's being used as a uh, EFI partition for some reason um, that it doesn't have a drive letter so it's not seen in the you know, file explorer so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start by just deleting these volumes okay so we have this partition here, which is a uh, EFI system partition, which we can't actually delete from disk management. It's kind of uh, a protected partition, which is an important one for most OSs, but this is just a regular flash drive with nothing on it, now that I deleted the uh, other partition that was on there. So we can't really get the whole disk back without removing this, this partition that's protected, so we're going to have to use another tool um, to get that off of there, which is going to be disk part, which is a uh, command line utility. It's also been in Windows for a very, very long time. Um, so I'm going to open up Command Prompt, click in CMD. I'm going to run it as administrator um, using the uh, keyboard shortcut of uh, holding down Control and Shift and pressing Enter. That'll run any app uh, as administrator. I'm going to go ahead and type in disk part. All right, now we're in there. So I'll type in list disk. And see, there is the uh, the two disks that we can see in disk management as well. Uh, disk zero being the OS disk, disk one being the flash drive, based on the uh, the size there, the 14 gigs. So I'm going to go ahead and select that by typing in SEL disk one. Now that we have it selected, I can do the list part command, and I can see there's that one partition, partition two, which is the EFI system partition that is on the flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and run the delete command, uh, which is delete part two, and I'm going to add override to it. Did I spell that right? I think it's override. Let me double check. Uh, Delete partition. Oh, that's right. You don't need the two. Delete partition. And yeah, two R's. That's what I thought. Okay, so there we go. Delete partition override. Because we have the partition selected, uh, as we did earlier, the, the SEL part two, um, you don't have to specify that going forward. So that was it. We just deleted that. And we can see in the background there that it updated really quickly. And we let me go ahead and close this. We now have a uh, just a, a raw disk. There's no um, volumes or anything on it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new simple volume. This is the uh, max amount of space that's available on the disk. If we wanted to create multiple, we can shrink it, I guess. But I'll make the whole thing one volume. I'm gonna give it a drive letter. The drive letter does change if you plug it into a different computer. So this is just kind of just for this computer. I'll give it the, the D drive for now. Um, we'll give this a name, and we'll perform that quick format on the bottom there. 
finish. Doesn't seem like it did the quick format for some reason. So I don't know if this is just a Windows 11 issue or something like that, but it should really just be a, it should be there as a D drive. Um, so I'm gonna manually just run the format now. Right click format, USB drive. Okay, let me hit okay. Refresh. And I'm also need a drive letter. <laughs> this seems to be just a Windows 11 bug. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit easier with Windows 10. Um, after that new simple volume creation, it should have just created the drive. It should have given it the letter. It should have formatted it. It should just show have shown up at the end of that in File Explorer with that full disk amount. Um, which is, I'm guessing that this is just because of Windows 11 bug or something like that. That. Uh, I had to manually format it, and then I also had to manually give it a letter, because um, you can tell from the volume setup that there we already picked the letter, we already gave it a name, and we already gave it a drive letter. So it should have just done that, but it didn't. Um, so probably not the greatest example in this case, but uh, hopefully it was still pretty clear and helpful uh, on how to do that. Now we have this flash drive with nothing on it. There's we have all the space available to us as much as we can use, and um, you know, we don't longer have those weird partitions that were on it before. So. That's a little bit of an intro into disk management and disk part. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful, and I will uh, see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Our website has some resources that you might find useful as well. Confused IT is a non-for-profit organization ran by IT professionals. Our mission is to make IT knowledge more accessible and easier to digest. Thanks for watching.